Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make a bacon ranch cheese ball. Cheese balls are super easy to make. Just combine your favorite ingredient with the cream cheese, mold it into that perfect ball shape, serve it with some crackers, and voila, you are a hero. We're gonna start with the bacon ranch cheese ball, but if you stick around, I'll show you a few other delicious variations. To start, we're gonna put 16 ounces of softened cream cheese into a bowl. To that, we're gonna add two tablespoons of softened butter, two teaspoons of dried dill, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, three-fourths a teaspoon of salt, and lastly, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now let's mix this up and make sure those dried seasonings are well incorporated. I usually mix this for about a minute. Then to this mixture, I'm gonna add in about a fourth a cup of diced chives half a cup of shredded cheese, and I am using Sharp. And of course, the thing that's gonna make you salivate the most, a half a cup of cooked and crumbled bacon. And if you wanna learn how to quickly and easily make bacon in the oven, be sure to check out our website. Fold all these ingredients together until they appear homogenous. Now we're gonna lay a large piece of saran wrap on our countertop. Now we're gonna dump that cheesy goodness right into the center of that. Wrap that saran wrap around that mixture, and form that into a ball. On another plastic sheet, sprinkle it with a fourth a cup of chives and a half a cup of crumbled bacon. Go ahead and unwrap that cream cheese ball and roll it into that mixture, making sure to get that ball completely covered in that topping goodness. Some people really like to add some toasted pecans to that exterior, and if you want to, go for it. Then with our plastic wrap, we're gonna wrap that up tightly and pop that into your fridge until you're ready to serve it. Now that wasn't too hard, right? Cheese balls aren't intimidating, they're just delicious. I have two more cheese ball recipes that I adore and they're simple to make. Let me show you how to make my pina colada and white chocolate cranberry orange cheese balls. For the pina colada cheese ball, I'm gonna add in two eight ounce packages of cream cheese to a bowl. One half a cup of toasted macadamia nuts that have been roughed chopped. One cup of drained crushed pineapple and a half a cup of toasted sweetened coconut flakes. Mix that all together, form that into a ball, then roll that into half a cup of toasted coconut and half a cup of chopped macadamias. Don't you like pina colada and getting caught in the rain? And if you're not into yoga, or excuse me, let me show you that white chocolate orange cranberry ball. Then same as before, we're gonna add in two eight ounce packages of softened cream cheese to a bowl three-fourths a cup of dried chopped cranberries, also known as craisins, the zest of one orange, one tablespoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of sugar. Mix that all together, form that into a ball, and roll that into a fourth a cup of those craisins and one cup of chopped or grated white chocolate. Once your cheese balls are assembled, you're gonna wrap it up nice and tight Pop it in the fridge until you're ready to serve them. Now all you have to do is decide which one you're gonna make and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.